Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I went to the Dollar Tree. This is part two of the Dollar Tree haul from my anniversary trip to Springfield, Missouri. We got quite a lot of stuff that day. And this stuff is all like the craft room crafty stuff. So I thought I would share it separately because you guys like that. So let's do that. Um, first thing I want to show you that's not in a bag is I picked up two more of the gray boxes. Now, I am absolutely loving these for storage. I have my, are you okay? Sorry, Jim was, oh, it sounded like the weirdest noise. I'm sorry, you okay though? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, never mind. I know what that was. So I'm absolutely loving these for like my paper crafting storage. So I do, I have like my hole punches in there, stickers that are like for scrapbooking. I know I never shared scrapbooking on my channel. I don't really teach it. I just do it for like a hobby. I don't really feel like I have the finesse like a scrapbooker does. I just like what I like. I will share my scrapbook with you someday. I have a Garth Brooks scrapbook that I made back in the 90s, <laughs> the last turn of the century. Um, but that's like it. And then I sometimes make scrapbook pages that I can put in frames for friends and stuff. So um, I picked up two more of these because I'm absolutely loving them. And I also decided to store my new expanded collection of wax melt stamps and wax melt accessories. So um, I picked up two more to fit um, some more things into. The only problem is two more will not fit on that shelf space. So I might have to do a little reorganizing, but we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Um, I picked up some, I got lucky enough to pick up some um, of these baskets in green. It's going to sound silly, I know, but I have them in red. <laughs> and I, the red just really stands out. I think I mentioned recently that I'm trying to go like all neutral or more neutral, I should say. And since the room is green, I figured it probably made a little bit more sense to have this. It's not quite as bright red. The other thing is, I think that this might take paint well and I may spray paint them black eventually when it gets a little less 100 degrees out. <laughs> no, wait, today it's only 93 <laughs> or something. But when it's a little lot, a lot, when it's less hot and humid out, I don't have like a garage where I can spray indoors but outdoors at the same time. So I'll have to wait, but I might just stick with green. I'm gonna put the green in where the red was and see how I like it and if it's okay, if it's not as, noticeable so like now what i do is i scan the room and i see these red baskets i know it sounds silly it really does but that's what i notice instead of noticing the inspiring flowers and the inspiring fabrics i notice these baskets so i picked up two of these i the red ones will not go to waste i have plenty of other places in my house that we can use them for storage so don't you worry there then i found this really cool lamp. This lamp was with the back to school section. I actually saw it on and it's perfect for the little areas. What I actually might use this in my room, I'm gonna try it in my room, but I actually got it for the desk. Right now I don't have electricity on the desk and sometimes I just need to highlight um, little areas. And what I do now is I take out my phone's flashlight. When I'm trying to read something, especially if it's really small, Sorry, my eyes are watering. Especially if it's really small, I tried to, I had to flash light on it to help. And this looked like it was gonna be the perfect amount of light for the times when I'm recording and I have to see something that I can't use my phone. As you imagine, my, I record on my phone so I can't use it for a flashlight when I'm um, creating or whatever. So I got this, I thought it was perfect. It's just a tiny little foldable desk lamp. I think you have to put your own batteries in. I'm sure you have to put your own batteries in. It's the Dollar Tree after all. And it takes three AAAs, I believe. Or I think that's what that is. And that's what I thought I read, or Jimmy read to me. Um, and it's just the cutest little light, desk light. And it's just enough light to do exactly that. Just a tiny task. Whenever I'm reading something and I need like a little extra light with my glasses, I think it's gonna be perfect. So I also, I'm sorry. I also use my flashlight um, from my phone at night to have like, if, I, if I'm if i not feeling good and it's because I haven't eaten enough, that happens a lot. I sometimes will have like an apple with peanut butter in the middle of the night and to cut the apple without light on is very dangerous. So I think I might actually try that in my room too. So that was the other thing that I got. That's like a uh, room equipment. <laughs> I found this 
inspirational notebook. I don't know if you guys have been around for a while, but what I do is I'd like to take a notebook like this that can open flat and, and beautiful. And I like to jot down, create um, project ideas. I'll get inspired by catalogs and by Pinterest and other YouTubers and items that I see in the store. All different inspiration comes from all different places. Mostly catalogs. I like to recreate stuff that is in a catalog for $30 and we can make it for five. I love that kind of stuff. So I found this. This is going to be my new 2023 journal. I actually have one for 2022 already. It's got tons of ideas in it. Not tons. It's got a few ideas in it that we haven't actually made to fruition yet because you know, but I think that this is going to be my 2023 journal. And it actually says fight the good fight of faith um, from, I swear it looked big enough to read yesterday, <laughs> from 1 Timothy 6.12. So um, I thought that that was both appropriate for the situation and for um, that we will get this business up and going again. So. I picked up a few things that I thought were like, oh my gosh. Um, last one is this notepad. And again, it's an inspirational quote. This may go in my giveaway box. I don't know if I guys have told you, I've, I love to keep stuff like this just to like throw in gift bags, to throw in to um, uh, like, like when I'm giving away a present, that's I guess a gift bag too. I don't know. Or if someone's having a hard time, I just like to reach in the gift box and send them something. This is perfect. It says my heart shall rejoice in the salvation and it's from psalms uh 13 9 it looks like so let me just double check that i can actually read that a 13 5 see dang so close um <laughs> and it's just so beautiful it's just not just it's a notepad like a covered notepad and it's very very beautiful and i love the green and the leaves and it's very like calming color so i just thought that that was a perfect gift to have for somebody so you guys know the wet chalk markers um that they have at the dollar tree i have like six of them lisa's like could you pick me up one i'm like just have one of the six that i have i use them a lot and i love them however guys i didn't even take a picture and i should have they had so many colors hot pink purple gold silver gray i guess this is probably silver i thought it was gray jim said it was silver um they had not orange green and not really red it was purple but they had so many colors in this chalk marker and I was like, what is happening to my life right now? And why do I not have all of these? So I had showed a little self-control and I bought one <laughs> in a color that I thought I would use the most. So I picked up it in silver gray, or gray or silver or whatever. I have heard really good things about these and never tried them yet. Um, and if you guys know that I love Wendy from, um, sorry, I'm missing something. Oh. You guys know I love Wendy from um, uh, White Sparrow Living, Loop 12.6. And she uses this from her actual like Cricut spatula to take the paper layer off of um, signs and stuff at the Dollar Tree. And I was like, girl, I got to get one of those. And I have my actual paper spatula from my Cricut stuff. But I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it with the dollar twenty-five version. I will not only use this, like I will not only use this to like review this, which I've heard great things about, but I will also not wreck my nice one that somebody paid a lot of money for me to have. So I picked this up as well as I got a scraper. And I feel like there's just not enough scrapers in the world. You guys know I saved like gift cards and um like gift cards that have expired, gift cards they send you in the mail, you know those fake fake credit cards that you get in the mail, like come you're pre-approved for a million dollars but really only gonna give you two dollars credit yeah i saved those for like all different types of things but i said you know what i'm really loving my cricut scraper for when i do my cricut projects and i thought that this would be perfect so i just picked that up wanted to try some of the dollar tree cricut stuff i've heard good things i haven't heard mixed reviews i've only heard good things speaking of good things i don't know why i only bought one don't ask me Jimmy was there. I was trying to have self-control. The thing that I really am, upsets me today that I didn't think of, I thought of yesterday, but I am kicking myself. You know, you have regrets. I love this bag. This is just a burlapy kind of canvas bag. It's a spread kindness and purple truck and flowers and all the things that are beautiful. 
purple is cf awareness color i don't know if you know may is cf awareness month so purple just like the whole vibe purple is my bestie's favorite color or one of her two favorite colors so it's just like a whole vibe for me however they had almost nothing on them like what in hindsight this is a nice size bag for $1.25 to have nothing on it. Like we could have done anything. Like what was I thinking? I wasn't. Let's just say I wasn't thinking. So this is by a brand called Juncture. I don't again know. It looks like it's a Greenbrier brand. Brand. Let me just double check. Um. Yep. It's by Greenbrier. You know, distributed by Greenbrier International. Again. So it's it's really cool. It's like very natural feeling, which I love. I love the natural feeling kind of canvas bags. I have a few of them, <laughs> but I love this. And I can't believe I didn't buy more. So I got this. If my bestie steals it from me, it would be totally understandable. Just because it's purple, not because it's a truck. <laughs> okay, so then we hit the autumn stuff. Now, the autumn stuff, just saying, I was kind of like really excited at this place because this Dollar Tree had really nice stuff. They had a really big autumn section and I'm not gonna tell you where it is because I realized something. I told you guys my favorite Dollar Tree in Springfield and then it became like jacked up. And then I told you my favorite Dollar Trees in St. Louis and then it became jacked up. I'm like, I'm gonna stop telling you my favorite Dollar Trees. <laughs> I'm kidding. This particular Dollar Tree we never went to before. I don't know how new it is. I kind of mentioned in a vlog yesterday that it looks like this whole side of, of Springfield is being built up. And this looks like it's in that newer neighborhood area. So I don't know how long it's been there. It's beautiful. It was well managed. It was well stocked. They, it was just a beautiful store. So I found some autumn. I said to Jim, I said, I want to look at the flowers, but not at the flowers. And he didn't get that. So I said, there's, I said, he was rolling me past them. So he thought I wanted to see the flowers, but not buying any. No, I was like, no, 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 no. There's like foliage in here and accessories like this. And these, what caught my eye the most. I know people have seen them before. I don't know what they're calling them. Probably you guys are no one shouting the name at me right now. And if you are, thank you. <laughs> these are called a flocked. No, they're not called flocking bowl because that's all they are is flocked balls. Usually they tell you at the Dollar Tree what it's supposed to symbolize. Anyway, that's what they are. They're flocked balls. And they had these three colors at this Dollar Tree, which is kind of like Jimmy was like, it's white and red and there's like, like white and purple. And then he's like, then there's the blue one. So we don't know exactly what colors they are to you, but to me, they're sort of like a pale yellow, a pale purple and a blue and they're very, very pretty. They're very, very pretty. And I just got them to accessorize some autumn DIYs. Now, now, I might have hit a pumpkin jackpot. Now, as you know, I know, there are not enough pumpkins in the world. There aren't. Um, I am not just in love with fall like everybody else. I love all the seasons. I'm not biased. Just because Halloween's in fall does not make me biased. <laughs> I'm very neutral <laughs> when it comes to certain things. All of that is fictitious, by the way. I do love fall. I don't really love fall more than Christmas, but Halloween comes very close second to Christmas. Um, I guess, you know, it's sort of like, I, it's gotta sound crazy, but being a Roman Catholic and All Saints Day and All Hallows Eve is all like a whole thing in my family. Um, so it's just, it's always been one of my mom's favorite holidays next to Christmas and it's mine too. Easter is third and we go on from there. and. Some people don't consider Halloween a holiday because it's not a holy day, but literally it's based in, um, like I said, in my culture. So before I show you the pumpkin jackpot, I will show you the pumpkin art jackpot. What about this does not say Jerry? I will just tell you, if this was not a pumpkin, I would keep this in my room now because of the sunflowers and the black and white and beige. And I'm in love with this sign. Do you guys go to the Dollar Tree and see the sign and be like, oh my gosh, Jerry needs that sign? Because if you did, then you're a friend of mine. <laughs> Welcome to the family. But I love it. It says beyond blessed because that's how I feel every single solitary day. Yes, I have stage four cancer. People think you can't have stage four cancer and be happy. Well, why not? 
I told you guys when I first got diagnosed, I'm sorry to go into this rant, but I told you guys when I first got diagnosed that I am secure in my faith. I am secure that I have done everything that my Lord has asked me to do. And I know whose I am and where I'm going. So I'm not afraid to die. That being said, I still want to fight and live. And I still have hope that I can kick this cancer's butt. So yeah, what am I going to be sad about? Anyway, I love this sign. So I feel like I'm beyond blessed 24-7. Just saying. Okay, the non-pumpkin pumpkin art. Oh my gourd. <laughs> I love it. I tried so hard to say it with a straight face. Oh my gourd. Because that's what I feel like I want to say. I'm like, oh my gourd. Um, this was going on for a while, the Armagird thing, you know? So it's like, oh my gourd, I love fall. And it's like, that's it. And it's a mason jar shape and it's got like a little tin top with the string around it. Like you've tied string on mason jar, but it's a nice stand up sign. I love that they painted the edges, the details. Dollar Tree's really stepped up. I know one of the managers that I saw one time was like, they really took that 25 cents and ran with it. And I'm like, they certainly did. They upped their game for that quarter. I'm telling you. And this one says, I had to get it because of the sign. It says, um, all with all with in all things, in all things, give thanks. And I love the color. It's that new autumn sort of like uh, tealy kind of color. If, if I can keep my bestie from stealing it from me, that'll be great. But um, she's not so big into the mason draws. She probably will be when she starts her RV life. But that's a whole other story for an whole other day. Just say it. I just found this in the bag and it's not autumn, but I got one of these bottle caps. I've really been wanting one for a long time. And I said to Jimmy, I'm like, oh, a bottle cap, they have it. So I picked one up. I have an idea what I want to do with it. I've, I've had an idea for a long time since the bottle caps first came out. Just saying. Oh, this goes in this basket. So I don't, just, I don't, I don't mess myself up. Now the pumpkins. Oh no, two more non-pumpkin. I think there's just two more. I just want to double check. Yes, two more. This was up on a shelf, on the very top of the shelf. And I'm sitting down on my wheelchair and I'm like, is that a hedgehog? <laughs> and it is, it's a hedgehog holding an apple. He is so freaking adorable. Is he a hedgehog? Is he a groundhog? I don't know, maybe he's a groundhog. I can't tell, his nose is big, his eyes are closed. He might be a groundhog. He's not so prickly back here, but you know, interpretation, artist interpretation, go figure yourself out. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they had him, they had a squirrel, they had something else that I don't remember right now, and they had this fox. And this fox also has an apple. And how cute is this fox? This is not the cutest fox you've ever seen in your entire life. I now have a fox on my back. So Rachel, who made these stickers, um, Rachel at um, a little bit of slick at Etsy, um, she actually made a fox, and he's on my back. Um, and I love them. Even before I see them in my yard. Like, now that I've seen them in person, I love them even more. But I love foxes, so I said, oh my gosh, I want that fox so bad. And he is so adorable. And together, oh my gosh, do they not rock? They both have their eyes closed. Everybody had their eyes closed. They're smiling big like Jerry does. When I smile, you can't see my eyes. Um, it's just it's just the nature of the beast. So, pumpkins. Okay, where do I begin? Let's begin with Jerry got lucky and found some pumpkins. One of the orange plaid pumpkins. Gingham, buffalo check, call it what you want. And then I picked up two of the black and white. Now I was gifted these last year, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was gifted these last year or my sister and my husband picked them up for me, but I know I was gifted some of these last year. So I do have some, but these are styrofoam pumpkins wrapped in fabric. They are easy to duplicate from if you can't find them and you can find the fabric, but of course they're already done for you for $1.25. So that's why I grabbed them. You also don't have to DIY everything. You know that. Some things you could just buy and let be decoration. Set up in a vignette. Pleather. I know. Say it. Go ahead. I'll give you a minute. I know it's pleather. Don't give me that. We call it. <laughs> back, back in the day, we used to call it vinyl. Then it was naga hide. Now it's vegan friendly leather. So uh, if you guys do not fall in love with leather pumpkins. I don't know you. I'm just saying they are so sweet and adorable. They have like a navy blue and a green gray, a more green color. I don't remember exactly. Cause again, these were up on the top shelf. I saw it through a window and I was like, oh, are those leather pumpkins? <laughs> now I will be honest with you. 
Had I not been on my cushion, I would have stood up. So when I decided to go into the Dollar Tree, I said, let me put my leg things on on my cushion so I can actually like move my legs around. I ended up taking the leg things off. So now my cushion made me too high to actually stand up safely. So I was like, if I could stand up, I'd just be about doing that right now. But I really am not, you know, wasn't there. So Jimmy, Jimmy was my arms. And then the last two, which I think are so pretty. Again, you don't have to do anything to them. They're done as far as I'm concerned. But you can age them more if you want to. They had an ivory speckle with a long stem and then this short squatty green. And I think together they look amazing. And I will tell you, as a whole collection, you know, like, like as a whole collection, they just are really beautiful. They're different shapes, different sizes, just like in nature. They're different colors. They're different hues, just like in nature. And that's one of the things I like it. No, you can't find plaid pumpkins in nature. I was talking about the other pumpkins. <laughs> and then that's it for like autumn, autumn. But then I found they started to pack out Halloween stuff. I have never been that soon to Halloween in my entire existence of shopping or living at the Dollar Tree. They actually had boxes. And then I went onto the website. Not the website. I got an email this morning that said they had Halloween gnomes. And I was like, oh, I should have looked at those boxes. But I'm a good girl. I picked these up for me and my bestie, and I picked them up last year. I think I have some orange ones. So I picked this time, I picked up the black and the purple. And these are like little witches' brooms. They have like a little um, sort of a organza bow around them or something around the tops. These are in purple, these are in like black, but Jimmy's like, they look dead. And I was like, yes, that's exactly right. So we picked up two sets of these, and this was my favorite find i have not found any non-christmas non-white non-green trees yet and i found these and i said to jim i'm like are they black or are they orange and he's like they just look dead and i was like perfect so if you don't know this my maiden name is adams and the adams family was a show we grew up on but not because of our name but what the kids would do was sing the Addams Family theme song to us. So I kind of felt like a vibe with the Addams Family. And Morticia used to cut the tops off her roses and they love dead flowers and dead things. And I just felt a connection to the dead trees. I don't know. But I'm gonna pull one out because I really do want to take a real life look at it and to see the color. I picked up two because if you guys know these Dollar Tree trees, you need to, you know? One just isn't full enough. And I don't mean two like you need two in your life. But to make one tree, you need to. Okay, he's wrong. They are black and orange. <laughs> Does that look black and orange? Did they tell you they're black and orange? Does it look black and orange to you? This tree is black and orange, like straight up black and orange. I actually said to Jim, I was like, ooh, if they have orange trees, get them because kidney cancer. But they don't say like, you know, sometimes when the, there's one box and they tell you the colors, Hmm. I'm gonna look at this one too, see if this one's black and orange. Sure is, but I don't mind. Black and orange is good. I'm glad I got two of the same. So this is really cute. Oh my gosh, and it's got a black stem. It's way more orange than the picture, um, in my opinion anyway. But I love it. So I can't wait to use these for Halloween decor. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul coming to you from the craft room, not in the craft room, I lied, coming to you for the craft room. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any interest in joining the family, just click the subscribe button down here. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can comment to me what your favorite thing is or what you're looking for. Because that's what I love that the comments be like, oh, I've been looking for, oh, I didn't share the magnets. I've been looking for X, Y, and Z for a million years. I need to find that, da, 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 da. So I love to hear that stuff about you. I said I forgot to share the magnets. They were off underneath my glasses, so I apologize. I picked up two more sets of these heavy duty magnets for the camping projects. So this isn't anything new. But these, you get 12 magnets in a pack. So I've got 24 magnets here. And uh, that's, you know, for the, the van camping. Um, anyway, I love you. And if nobody's told you today that you're loved, you can always come by and hear how much I love you because I love you guys so much. You make my day. You make my 50s. <laughs> you make my later in life life just all that much better. And there's my husband being fresh. <laughs> yep. 
And as always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.